Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Uh, we have a lot to talk about today. One main thing, and then a couple other things I want to say here at the beginning. The first thing is, look at those rims. They done fixed it. That's the only reason I'm running my custom car today. They done fixed the rims. Congratulations, 704. So proud of you guys. But that's not what we're here today to talk about. Um... Before we get into it, I do just have a little thing that I want to talk about. Um, so today was my birthday, and it was great. It was a great day. Had a great time. And yeah, it was, it was awesome. I'm 16. I'm going to be able to drive in about a week. But that's not what I want to talk about. I want to talk about the fact that, you know, for the past week, I put together this mega birthday special that I was going to put together for you guys. I worked super hard on it. It was well over an hour. Um, overall, it would have been around two hours, I think. And it was just going to be playing every single racing game that I own and just comparing them. And it was going to be kind of like, I don't know, I'd like to do some longer videos like that, you know, just to, you know, when I when I play video games and stuff, I like to have a long YouTube video on in the background and just to listen to. So I figured I'd put one of those out for you guys and see how it does, or just like road trip type of video or whatever. Uh, unfortunately, I put in all that work and then I went to Share Factory, and it wouldn't let me export a video over 80 minutes. And I would have had to cut out like half the video, and I was I was not about to do that. And like stuff like that. YouTube is kind of becoming stressful for me. I'm not going to lie to you. Um, you guys make it all worth it. But it's just, it just getting hard. So basically what I'm trying to tell you guys is I might be taking a break. This, this video might be the last you guys hear from me for a while. It might not. It very well could not be. I might be back tomorrow. But it this could be the last video you guys hear from me for a while. So... Other than that, honestly, it kind of depends on how this video does. So on that note, if you could like and subscribe just in case I do stick around, that would make me very happy. That whole s story wasn't to make you feel bad for me or anything. I don't feel entitled at all. You guys are awesome for watching this video. But that's that's about all I got to say on that matter. So today, I want to talk to you guys about something that I've been thinking about for a while. And I've kind of made a video on this before. But I really wanted to, you know, do it right. So, what I want to talk to you guys about today is an issue that NASCAR Heat 5 has, which is that the, the on-track gameplay, I don't think anybody will argue, is pretty good. And there are lots of bugs and glitches with the game, which is, it is what it is. But... The career mode is okay, but the game is definitely lacking another, you know, huge cornerstone feature. There aren't many successful, you know, sports or racing genre games these days that only have one main feature like NASCAR Heat 5 has with career mode. So, I just want to talk about what I think would be the perfect, perfect addition and I think that this is plausible. Uh, I could absolutely be incorrect, but I think this is plausible. This could be another part of the NASCAR Heat 6 wish list, but I don't think it's going to be. I just want to talk about this. So, what I'm envisioning is a second pillar mode similar to F1's My Team mode. And the fact that F1 is brought into a, a play a game mode like this, like an incredible, incredible mode, leads me to believe that 704 games might put in something along those lines just to keep the competition up, you know? Like, it happens all the time in sports games. The game will bring in a feature and somebody will copy it because it works. It's good. Like, this is a stupid example, but... Uh, when Apex Legends came out and they had respawn beacons, so then Fortnite brought in the respawn vans. That's just the first example I could think of off the top of my head. Like, stuff like that. 
so games borrow ideas all the time so I don't feel like it's unreasonable to think that this could happen uh, there's one major setback that could hurt this gameplay this game mode coming into play um, and then we're gonna talk about that and then we're gonna get into what this mode would actually entail in my vision um, so the problem that I could see coming into play is contracts um, so one one thing that F1 doesn't have is real sponsorships right the sponsorships in the game are false which allows them a, or not false sorry like fake and that allows them to have some more wiggle room with stuff like the ability to work without having to contract you know corporations and su such you know NASCAR doesn't really have that if they were gonna do that this kind of mode they would probably have to have real sponsors or people would fairly quickly lose interest because sponsors are a huge thing in NASCAR I know they're a huge thing in F1 as well but sponsors are very very synonymous with drivers and it'd be hard to have an immersive career or an immersive my team mode slash owner mode without having that if that makes any sense and driver contracts are another thing as well like M&Ms wouldn't necessarily like Kyle Busch being shown outside of his 18 M&Ms car so you'd have to work around some contracts there but I don't know I feel like it could be done I have no idea I'm not a legal expert at all <laughs> I'm a child <laughs> but so what would this mode entail the the meat of this video is going to be that so what i envision uh would be something like f1 you know an in-depth experience where you could drive a car sign sponsors upgrade your car and sign other drivers to race with your team now this could be accomplished in just the cup series or you could own teams in different series I think that would be nice as well but there's some th key features that you need to be immersed in this game mode obviously if you've ever played F1 2020 or if you're a racing games fan there's a pretty decent chance that you know about F1 in my team mode so I'm not gonna go very in-depth with like the basics I wanna go talk about more the immersion and what it would need for it to be successful so I've already kind of talked a little bit about sponsors you would need real life sponsors with contracts you could sign you know negotiations that kind of stuff sponsor goals all that jazz uh, like in real life I would like to see this isn't a must by any means but I would like to see the possibility to have like more than one primary sponsor you know like you could run multiple different schemes a year I think that would be cool uh, and like the ability to manage your teammates schemes and all that stuff I think that'd be nice uh, I guess not really necessary you could just have presets but I would like to see the ability to customize it uh, you need to be able to customize your numbers and then this is the biggest thing that it would need um driver transfers obviously driver call-ups and driver retirements retirements aren't quite as important but I think it would add a lot to the game um you know if you could bring in custom drivers like not custom drivers but like fantasy drivers like you could in the older NASCAR games once drivers start retiring like promo promotion and stuff but driver call-ups and driver transfers would be absolutely necessary for this game I want to be able to sign on to my fictional team you know Brad Kozlowski I I want a team of let's say we'll say Chase Elliott um maybe maybe Kyle Bush me and Noah Gregson just for example four drivers I think that'd be really cool and be able to manage their their finances the car upgrades um 
you know, crew members, equipment, sponsorships, and just really have, you know, a fiscal role over the team. I, I think that'd be really cool. Like, I don't know. It'd be fun to be able to not only have success on the track, but also have success off the track. I think I think that would be quite entertaining. Like, I can't believe that F1 2020 has pulled it off the way they did in their first year. This is the first year of that mode. And it's basically just incredible. Like, probably the best racing game mode of all time, I would say. If, if NASCAR E5 could replicate any of that, that would just instantly make the game a thousand times better. So... That's my thoughts on the issue, I guess. Um, let me know yours down in the comments. Sorry for the little kind of rant at the beginning. I'm just trying to tell you guys my feelings and keep you in the loop. I don't want to just ghost you, basically. So, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys are having a blessed day. Uh, I know I am. God is always with you. Never forget that. Hope you guys are staying safe. I'll see you guys next time.